What's up there you guys, it's your man Joe. Came around just to find that you need to know. So earlier this morning, when I saw the title up from uh, from the Sister and the Lord, uh, Change is Coming. I plead the blood of Jesus and help a hedge of protection over our family right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Um, and, and the people that watch this video right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I plead the blood of Jesus and hedge of protection and the Holy Ghost and fire. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Okay, um, when I saw it earlier this morning, I, got a, I, got, I did get excited to uh, watch uh, that I, I've been wanting to watch this is like something I don't know I just wanted to wait so when you talk about zombies and fighting zombies I'm like you know what I'm gonna do a reaction to this so let's do this okay let's do this and I'll leave a link in the description so you can guys check her out uh, the channel yeah <laughs> this dream that I was with my group and we was like these elite soldiers again and we was killing zombies we was shooting them somehow yeah we was shooting them and then one of them this this lady it was all these people that had been infected and this one lady though she was she in turn she said no I'm okay I'm okay I'm not a zombie and she was talking to us and I marveled that she could talk so um, I, I didn't shoot her but I didn't trust her I thought she was about to turn and she was saying she wasn't bit that she was okay and everything was fine so I kept my eyes on her because I didn't trust her and we was about to check her and then she turned and she almost bit one of us and I hurried up and shot her and killed her and um yeah and that was the dream it was just a quick dream I guess it was just showing me that they when they turn to zombies they really can't talk and reason they really are like zombies So I went back to sleep and had another dream. In this dream, I was with this guy. He was on my team. And I was training him on how to use the gun. And it was like a real gun. I mean, just like my other dream I had. And it shot out a whole bunch of bullets at one time. Like a, like a million bullets. And, um... I was training him how to use it, but it was weird. It was like we was training in some residential area where they had these really big homes. And where the guy was shooting at, it wasn't hitting the house, but it was facing towards this house. And he was, um, he wasn't hitting the house. And then I grabbed the gun from him to show him. How did, how did, um, he was doing something wrong, like, he wasn't hitting the target properly or something. And when I grabbed the gun from him to show him how to do it, the gun was still engaged, like, the trigger was still down. It wasn't like a normal gun, I don't think. I think a normal gun, you have to keep the trigger pressed down, but these, this gun, it was like the, the trigger was still down somehow and then so when I grabbed it the bullets went off the target it's like the target he was hitting was invisible to the world and it was like it was an invisible shield like that he was to shoot he was hitting it was like some kind of invisible screen that you couldn't see and then I think this this is like God showing me that we was like um, supernatural still because these dreams they seem like regular like regular people but no until I had this dream because the target was um, was invisible and, and nobody could hear bullets or anything so this residential area had no idea we was out here shooting this gun we was inconspicuous you know and um, so then he was shooting this 
this target, but then he wasn't shooting. He, even though it was an invisible shield, it was supposed to be a target on it. And he wasn't hitting it right. And I just grabbed the gun from him like, let me show you how to do it. And the bullet, the thing was still engaged. And then the bullets went off the invisible target and they hit this house. They, they hit like through this windows. It was this big giant house these people had. And um, I wouldn't call it a mansion necessarily. It was more like just a really, really big house. So anyway, it shot up the side of their house and the windows and stuff. And it put these, you know, tiny holes. All. It didn't crack the glass though, but it had holes all in the windows and stuff. And I, then we changed our clothes to go over there and talk to them and figure out how we can fix it. And I felt real bad, like, oh, boy, what did we do? But I said, oh, we got to fix it. So then we went over there, and it was an Indian family, and this place was packed full of people. I mean, it was, it was a lot of people living in this house. And they had, like, all kind of... Um, it was a big house, like it had multiple kitchens and multiple floors and it was people everywhere. I mean, it was like a lot of people there, a lot of kids and I marveled how we didn't shoot anybody. So when I went over there to talk to them about what happened and apologize with well, my team, I, they went over there with me and they didn't even hit the bullets. They had no idea the house was hit. So that showed me too that these bullets, they didn't make any sounds. And so then I um I was apologizing. Me and this the guy who was doing the shooting, he was apologizing. And when I went over there to inspect everything, well first we went we looked a little bit on the outside and we went in and we was walking through the whole house talking to the, the guy, the man of the home. And, I mean, some of these kids was in, um, in the walkers, that's what it's called, little, you know, little kid walkers, and it was just a lot of kids, and they was real nice, they was very friendly, it was like, hi, hi, how are you, and they was all talking to us and stuff, and they was so friendly, and there was a lot of ladies in there, a lot of different ladies, and other men, it was like a whole bunch of blended families in this house, so the guy was real nice about it, because he, then nobody heard any shots or nothing. He was like, oh, I'm sure it's not that much damage. And I'm thinking in my head, it's a lot of damage. And he was like, you know, we, we'll work it out. It's not a big deal. So we walked through the house talking to him because he, he had to do something while we was talking to him. And then finally we went outside. And he looked at the damage and he was like, oh, this is nothing. We'll just put some. And, and his house was newer. They, he, it was a brick house. And it was like the bricks was newer bricks. And it wasn't an old home. It was a nice house. But the inside was just a bunch of people. And it wasn't fancy or nothing. I remember even one, one of the kitchens had like this white um, countertop. Like it was a, like a cheap countertop. But the, everything looked new. like, But just cheap. You know. And um, a lot of rooms didn't even have any furniture in them. Because it was just... Like kid play areas. When it was a clean house, I mean, you know, like they kept it clean, but it wasn't fancy on the inside, but it was a real newer looking home. So, anyway, he was like, Oh, this is not so bad. And I'm thinking it's horrible. I'm like, We don't crack your glass, even though they didn't hear it. And, you know, well, it, the glass didn't shatter, it was just these little holes. And he was like, Oh, it's not so bad. It's, you know, we just put some putty on this and fix it up. And I'm thinking in my head, yeah, my alarm went off. So anyway, I'm thinking about the windows, and he didn't even mention the windows. And he was just acting like it was all good. And then this lady who was in the house, now this lady looked Asian. So I guess it was an Indian and Asian family. It was, cause, I don't know, because she looked Asian to me. She could have been Indian, but she looked the way she was dressed, I guess. And she was thin. She looked like an Asian woman. Anyway, she came out the house. And she was like, I guess his wife or something. I think she was his wife. And she was just going, no, no, no. This is a lot of damage. And 
Like we can't just put no putty on this. This is horrible. The brick has to be replaced. Everything has to be redone. What is this? And she was really upset. And I said, oh boy, we're going to have to do a lot of work here. And replace this brick. And we're going to have to replace all the windows. And Anyway, I believe the Lord just wanted me to show, um, wanted to show me that we were, I mean, even though we was wearing like elite soldier uniforms that I've even seen, you know, the military, the real military wearing uniforms that look similar, but we wasn't like them. We were still supernatural because in all these dreams, I never saw how we were still supernatural, but until I had this dream and our weapons were supernatural as well, you know, so anyway, uh, yeah. Or supernatural. I might even post this one. I don't know. Anyway, God bless. All right. That's interesting. Uh, let, again, I will leave a link in the description so you guys can check her out. Um, yeah, so it's your man Joe. Uh, repent for the day of the Lord is near. Please make Jesus, please make Jesus Christ your personal Savior today. Um, be washed by the blood, uh, be baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire, prepare for the rapture, prepare for Jesus Christ's coming, uh, prepare for the wedding supper of the Lamb, prepare for the seven year tribulation, and prepare for the great white throne judgment. Alright, so it's your man Joe, see you guys soon in another video or so, okay? I'm gone.